out at the Mississippi River Valley. It's my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. It's uh, August 9th. I don't know, I take that back, August 11th. Probably about uh, 7.38 in the morning or so. I'm on alone with Kurgan. Here's Kurgan right here. He was just over there playing with those other ducks. Laying in the mud, Kurgan. Beautiful out here in the valley. Come on, Kurgan. Absolutely beautiful day. Thanks, buddy. He's learning from Lobo. You'll have to forgive uh, any shaking when I'm uh, walking on these rocks. They're a little slippery. Keep my eyes peeled for eagles. There's usually a lot of eagles in this area. They're kind of fun to watch. dogs in the woods over there that area this whole area is like a off-leash wilderness dog park so as it gets later in the day like right now you see a lot of people and their dogs Kurgan loves to play with other dogs and a beautiful shot As we work our way down this way, we're getting closer to the uh, Gartha Cave, which I filmed in several other videos. He's uh, watching the other dogs over there. Matter of fact, in my uh, recent videos with uh, Ogren, that's where we were, was walking along that strip of beach where you see that lady and those dogs. Come on, homie. Up ahead for you locals, that bridge you see right there is the... Uh, West 7th Street Bridge. Find a flip-flop there, Kurgan. I'd rather have you find a flip-flop than a dead fish. <laughs>
you may notice what I'm doing there. I'm uh, trying to get a good shot of him with that uh, reflecting water with the sky uh, on the other side of him for a thumbnail. As I always say, I'm always looking for good thumbnails and pictures for my Instagram. All right, now here we're at the entrance to the Agartha Cave. I filmed this in many videos, uh, different seasons. Right there is the cave entrance. It's got a natural uh, stream, uh, spring that runs out of it. No, it's not the uh, entrance to the mythical earth uh, realm of Gartha. It's just a local cave that uh, goes by the same name. Now the way to get in there isn't from down here. You actually, there's a path that runs above it and you come down and you run right along the ridge here and pop right in. I can't do that with my dogs. But uh, I've done it several times uh, from my youth uh, up until just a few years ago. It's a cool little cave, it goes way back and then uh, eventually gets uh, small enough where uh, you can't continue going, but the water continues coming. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? The clouds off the water like that. I don't know. I'm a simple man and it's uh, the simple things in life that I enjoy the most, I guess. Come on, homie. This way. This gives you guys a chance to see what Kurgan's like when he's with me alone. I made the mistake in not wearing any mosquito repellent in my rush to get out this morning. This is the first pot where I've seen some mosquitoes. Go! Oh, guess I'm gonna get some bites. Gotta live hard to be hard, I guess. At least that's uh, what my drill sergeant used to say. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how much stock I put in it. Actually, there's a lot of truth to that statement. Steel sharpens steel. I love this little quiet trail through here. 
and I can tell nobody's walked it for at least several days by the amount of spider webs I'm walking through that's uh, a little tip for you if you're ever walking some trails and you're curious if somebody has been there recently before you if you're walking through spider webs no they haven't well this is uh, the second or should I say the third little Mississippi witch house the first being uh, by Fort Snelling the second one being the one that was made out of sticks that was recently destroyed and then there's this one got a bunch of benches uh, throne built there this witch uh, rides a rake instead of a broom I guess <laughs> but yeah the uh, Mississippi witch likes to collect trinkets and knickknacks you can see all her stuff you get fishing hook uh, a stone with an eyeball on it Odin's eye I guess the Mississippi witch likes golf balls, walkie-talkies, oysters. Oh, there's some kind of shrine. She's got herself a little sun hanging in the tree here. Should we sit on the witch's throne? I ruled the Game of Thrones, damn it. Now this is actually quite a bit bigger than it looks. It's uh, got a whole set of stairs that have been built here. And it goes down to a lower level. See more uh, trinkets. I guess the uh, witch likes uh, freshwater clams. There's the witch's spice rack. Because you can't be a witch without a spice rack, damn it. <laughs> Some kind of little monument she's uh, constructed. God, isn't that beautiful? The purple in the skies. Are you guys uh, picking that up? That'd be a nice photo for Instagram. Kurgan relaxing. So again, somebody. Uh, Really put a lot of work into uh, all this stone. Uh, this has all been uh, built by someone. We used to do this kind of stuff when I was a kid. I used to spend a lot of time hanging out down at the river. That was before the internet. Back when video games were Atari. that all the cool stuff they have now but you know I think my childhood was probably uh, a lot better than uh, kids these days because of it because uh, we didn't have all that stuff to keep us locked up in the house I was outside all the time doing stuff like this running the woods fishing kids uh, really are missing out these days on that kind of stuff well I think I'm gonna wind out uh, clip 2 we'll start at clip 3 like subscribe and share hit that little notification bell down below that's all folks bye Jorgen. come on he knows we're gonna be heading up this way next come on Here he comes. Bye. Come on. We're not going up there yet. We're winding out the video first. Bye from Mr. Kurgan.